Hey guys, it's John and welcome to my playthrough of The Shopping List. This is a free indie horror game. It's available on Itch.io. There's a link in the description. Just came out uh, last month or something like that. And um, it's one of those games where you have a normal retail experience and nothing particularly scary happens. I'm excited to get some chores done, run some errands. Don't trust a stranger. Why is it in quotes? Do you actually know the person? I'm really gonna miss my hometown. I hope moving to this city will give me more opportunities in life. Ah, oh, man. I almost forgot. I have to finish my shopping list before I crash at my new apartment. <laughs> I like the boom in the background. Very dramatic. Oh, gotta go shopping. It's a person with anxiety's worst nightmare. Go out in public and do things, no. Oh wait, where am I? What? Press tab to check your shopping list. Press space to autoplay dialogues. Let the shopping begin! Fun! Okay, wait. So I gotta get milk from the grocery store. Shampoo from the body shop. The body shop? Body shops are usually for cars, but okay. I don't know why they would carry shampoo. Toy from the toy store. Chocolate, again from the toy store. You and get chocolate at the grocery store? Okay. Printer paper from the tech store. Flowers from the florist, and fresh meat from the slaughterhouse. You know you could get you could get fresh meat at the grocery store too. That's what the grocery store is for. All right. Well, I'm not here to tell you how to do your shopping. Mm, honestly, I could get used to living here. I just hope these stores are open at night. Well. Yeah, I mean, we're here at night, so... That would be kind of an essential part of things. Let's go to the grocery store. What are we getting here again? Milk? Easy. Let's talk to this guy. What's up? I'm waking him up. Uh... Huh. Who the hell are you? Choose your name. Oh! I'm gonna be boring. Sorry. Could come up with a funny name for the content, but I'm just a boring guy, what can I say? John? What a stupid name. What kind of weirdo would name themselves something like that? Anyways, what can I do for ya? Uh, well, do you happen to know where the milk is? <laughs> it's in the frozen aisle, dude. The refrigerated aisle. The milk? Yeah, it should be over by the soda. If not, come back here and I'll check the supply stock. Now leave me alone, let me rest. Okay, the text scrolls a little too fast. What is this guy stroking over here? Do you see this? He's like, he's stroking a carton of milk! He's petting it like it's a pet! Musty milk. That's a horrible brand. Also, my man's been working out. <laughs> Looking like Hans and Franz over here. That's a dated reference. Where's the milk? Dude, it's just, it's just in the refrigerated section. Speak to toast. Hey, do you work here? No, I don't. But, I'm actually hoping to get a job working here. Well, how's that working out for you? Not too good. I got fired from my previous job at the tech store. Why? Oh wait, that's me asking why, not Toast. Because they replaced me with a fucking machine. I'm sorry, but come on. And now people barely even shop there because they find the whole machine thing weird. That is not true. Well, anyways. I'm gonna continue looking busy so I can get this job. Looking busy doing what? Good luck shopping, I guess. Alright, bye. Good luck shopping, I guess. Dude, you're just loitering in a grocery store. You're literally just hanging out there. What are you- what are you looking busy doing? You think they're gonna turn on and be like, that guy looks busy. We should give him a job. So we can pay him to look busy. If you're looking busy by doing actual work for free, they're never gonna hire you. They're just gonna keep letting you do work for free. That's how this shit works, dude. Come on. Chips and supplies. I love going to the chips and supplies aisle. That's my favorite one. Soda and drinks. Milk out of stock? 
Does this guy have the last milk? Is that why he's stroking it? Okay. Hey, you're out of milk. Check the supply stock, please. So, did you find what you're looking for? No, the milk is out of stock. Alright, no worries. I'll take a look back here for you. Alright, Jordan, give the customer the milk. No, it's my milk! Jordan, hand over the- No! If they want my milk, they're gonna pay extra! <laughs> Alright, so, you're gonna have to pay extra for the milk. Choose your payment amount. Fifteen? I mean, it says milk fifteen dollars. Fifteen?! No, no, no. I'm not paying fifteen dollars for... What was that, a quart of milk? Three. You get three bucks. Three dollars. No? Five. You can't haggle with this thing. Ten? I have to put in fifteen. Look, do you see him crying? You didn't have to accept it. Hey, I'm sorry about before. I get grumpy when I'm tired. I've barely gotten any sleep lately because of, you know, the disappearances that has happened around here lately. You don't know? Well, just take my advice. Finish that shopping of yours before it gets dark. It's already dark. All right, bye-bye now. I like how his head just hits the wood. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, it's already checked off. I was hoping I would get to check it off. All right, so we got milk. M much to uh, Jordan's chagrin. <laughs> he's, he's never going to get over it. It's okay, buddy. You know, grief uh, attacks us all in different ways, I'm sure. I'm sure you'll find a way to move on with the new normal. Okay, let's go. By the way, it is already dark out. What are they talking about? Was it supposed to be like 3 in the afternoon? Look at this. It is pitch black out there. You're trying to tell me... I need to finish this up before it gets dark? Too late. Oh boy, okay. Hey, you! I'm gonna need to see some ID before I let you continue down this path. It's a strict security procedure that we have to follow after this week's latest events. Okay. Now, get over here and hand me your ID. Shit, I lost my ID before I came here. What? What? I lost my ID. Then you were driving without a license. What, do we dig through the trash for one? I can't go back into the grocery store either. Okay, so do we just... Let's speak to Ruben. Hand it over! <laughs> Choose your reply. Lie, lie, or lie. I guess we'll lie. Uh, I left my ID in the car. Just give me a minute, and it'll be right back. Fine! Just hurry up, will ya? Also, my eyesight is really bad, so you better not do anything cheeky with the card now. Maybe I can find something that looks like an ID card in the dumpster. Yeah, hang on, officer. My car is right over here, and it looks like a green dumpster, but pay no attention to that. Good thing you have bad eyesight. What? I found milk in the dumpster. See, I had to say you have bad eyesight at the end there, otherwise you guys would have been like, Um, he said he had bad eyesight. John never pays attention. I see. We'll borrow this, I guess. Look, look, a missing poster. Does the milk... Aw, a missed opportunity for the milk carton to have a disappearance on it as well. That's a very common thing. Am I supposed to, like, took you long enough? Am I supposed to, like, mark on it or something? Sorry about the delay, but I got what you wanted right here. Hmm, let's take a look here, then. Sure this is you? It's a little blurry. They don't make them like they used to. What? Your eyes? Oh, right. No glasses. Hey, uh, you promised this is you on the card, right? Sure. Then piss off! <laughs> Dude, why do you hold your hands like that? It's very... That's not comfortable. Okay. Very relaxed, officer. 
All this seating, all this publicly funded seating, taxpayer dollars gone to waste. No one's using it. I'm in my 30s now, so I can rant about things like my taxpayer dollars. Something that you do later in life. Looks like my tax dollars are not being used correctly. Examine music box. This brings back memories. Does it? 1975. How old are you? He led her to his kingdom where he was joyfully received and they lived for a long time afterwards, happy and contented. Heart. Wow, wasn't that story exciting, sweetie? That was very good. Haha, <laughs> Heart, you're so cute. I love you, sweetie. Heart. I love you too, mommy. Heart. <laughs> this is such a weird sequence. Oh, we had just we had such a loving childhood. Aren't we lucky? Okay. Well, I'm glad that I did that to like save my progress or something, maybe. Gotta go to the body shop for checks notes. Shampoo. I guess by body shop they mean like human body shop. Like bath and body works or something. Love your booty. Oh my god. For people out there who use makeup. Would you ever trust a makeup aisle with this font on it? You wouldn't. There's no way. Makeup! Sorry, somebody who doesn't use makeup put the sign up. And that's how you know you can't trust them. Okay. Speak to Aggie. Aggie? OMG! Like, hi! Welcome to, like, the body shop or whatever. How can I help you? Hi, well, I just need some ordinary shampoo. Anything's fine, really. Anything? Um, yeah. Great! We only have three shampoos left, which is superb since you'll only have any shampoo, right? Yeah. Oh, gee, great! No one has bought them in like two years or something. Don't know why, I think they're great. You can choose between Gusta Greasy Gramps, Scott's Saucy Shamo the Poo, and Basic Strawberry Shampoo. Uh. Um, let's just go with the basic strawberry. Ah, basic strawberry shampoo. Great choice! Hmm, <laughs> you seem unsure of buying it. All right, you can try it out for free in the public shower that we have in the back. No, no thank you. Come back here after you're done. Bye! No, I'm not doing that. You hear me, Aggie? I'm not doing that. <laughs> the public shower. The public shower. No. Can I, what, what is, what is the, the love your booty aisle is uh, completely empty. Can't help but notice. I guess I'm unable to love my booty. I have to hate it. Nothing, nothing available for me to love. This is such an interesting body shop. Can you imagine like like a like a like a health and beauty store having a like a public shower? Coed? This smells as basic as expected. But it definitely has a smell better than that fucking gust of greasy grams. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter. At least I got to try it out before buying it. It'll take it. I thought I was gonna turn around to see, like, Aggie watching from the door or something. So, okay, so we showered. There's no towels. We don't dry off. We There's no place to put the clothes. I guess we'll just accept it. I mean, what can you expect from, uh, from a store that has this up on the wall? Makeup. Check out. Alright. So, what'd you think? Are you gonna buy it? I guess so. Finally! I mean, great! That'll be $9.99. Okay. 
I don't know why, why do I have to choose my payment amount? Because I can't haggle for it. I can't be like, oh, actually, that'll be $8. Thank you for your purchase. I'm surprised that you're out shopping this late. We barely get any customers at this time of the day because of the disappearances. The disappearances. The only one that's been out here today are you and some creep that looked at me through the glass window while you were showering. Nah, that doesn't matter really. Just be careful out there for me. It's not safe being out at this time. Bye. Thanks, Aggie. Look, she's clipping through the desk. Isn't that crazy? Okay, the, the spooky music is in. Somebody was staring through the glass. Oh my god, somebody looked through the glass window of a shop that was open at night. Oh my god, can you imagine? Oh, the humanity. Okay, we got two of the... How many? Seven? Oh my gosh. Oh. Suddenly the lights are flickering and there's blood. Oh. Oh. Timmy's toys. Okay. I I would never I, this looks like a sex toy shop. No windows, completely gray. Was this shiplap or what's going on here? Timmy's toys. No. No, no, no. Amusements. Yep, these are dildos. Listen, some people are into that, okay. No access. What? These are the these are the worst toys. In all seriousness, these are the worst toys. What am I supposed to get here? Toy. And chocolate, apparently. Wow, let's meet Timmy. Uh hey. Huh. How can I help you? Well, I was looking for something cute to put in my new apartment. You got any toy or stuffed animals you could recommend? I also like a chocolate bar. Chocolate? I, hmm. I'm gonna take a look in these boxes. Meanwhile, you could do something for me. That's not how this works. I'm sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. I don't think I can. If you want my help, you better help me back. Times have been busy lately. <sighs> All right, what do you want me to do? You know that amusement sign by the entrance? It's supposed to be glowing, but the wires are all messed up. So I want you to check them out. Fine. You want me to work for you? You're the only employee here, and there's like a total of seven things in this store, and you can't do that yourself? Ah. Uh. Oh, really? Okay, I mean, I think I understand. No, actually. Okay, so I guess it, it moves through this. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, there we go. Okay. Cool, it's lit up now. I did it. Wow. You actually managed to rewire it? Yeah. Well, a deal is a deal. Here's your stuff. Thanks. Hey, I have a quick question. Everyone I've talked to today has warned me about the dangers of being out at this time. Is it really that dangerous for me to be out right now? Don't listen to them. People don't like when new people come into this town, so they just try to scare them away with the usual reason. There's a killer on the loose, blah, blah, blah. It's just proper bullshit. Just ignore them and move on. All right, bye now. Thanks, Timmy. So I got, I got, I got toy and chocolate. You're not even gonna look at the toy? You're not even gonna look at the toy. They got cat food. They got cat food and floaties. In this godforsaken toy store. Oh, look at the dead plants. Get me out of here. 
I'd rather get murdered in the street than be in here another second. Timmy's Toys. How is that place still in business? Can't be serious. Oh, it's like a... Oh, did you hear that? What's up? Can you go that way? Can I go this way? Oh, do you hear that? This reminds me of the game Late Night Wanderer. I played that years ago by now. It was formatted a lot like this. Oh, we're gonna get our uh, nostalgia goggles on. Oh my god, a rose. That's a huge rose. This brings back memories. Oh, What if we're the killer? 1979. So this is... Four years later. Oh no, mom! She was 36. I'm going to miss you. I love you, Mom. Aww. And now look, here we are. Um, uh, 43 years later. Shopping. How old are we? <laughs> I mean, the timeline of its present day puts us at like 50. The tech store should be close by. That's not good enough. Should be close by, excuse me. Tech store. What we gotta get here? Oh yeah, printer paper. The last place we gotta go is the slaughterhouse. Oh my gosh. I had a little bit of sleep in my eye. What the? Is this a mannequin? The mannequin's bending over, how obscene! Look at these gigantic laptops! This has gotta be in the 90s then. But no, but there's the iPhone! Looks like it might be like a 4 or something, I'm not sure. I don't really know that stuff. So then... So yeah, our character is like... At least, like, in their late 30s, you would think. Okay. Hello, I am Carl. Carl, yes, you're on Oh, wow. I'll be taking care of your workers today. Choose what you want to buy on my interface. Let's make it, let's make it, let's make it. Okay. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Um, I guess. Let's order a TV, y'all. Okay. Pay to $99 to receive your product. $3? Are you sure you don't want to charge me $15 for a carton of milk? Three dollars for printer paper. For how much? One sheet? How much is that? All right, we got it. This tech store is horrible. I like how this is like no access. There's nothing back there. Why would I want to go back there? Okay, where's next? Almost finished. We gotta go to the florist. A florist open this late at night? No way. The game's atmosphere does increase as the game goes on. It's like, I guess it's to indicate the passage of time, like, now it's definitely past dark. You know, it's definitely the time. Come back here. What's up? Huh? What's up? Where are you? You wanna get karate chopped? Yeah, I didn't think so. You should put pepper spray on that shopping list. Dude, where is this florist? 
That's impossible. Left. Missing poster. Ashton Garcia. Reward $1,200. Please find my little boy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ashton, huh? I'll keep an eye out. I haven't seen anybody else. This place seems off. Wait. Was I gonna say something else? I think you're designed to like stop whenever text pops up. Closed road. What is this? But what about the florist that's open at 10 o'clock at night? Oh, it's vaulted. What? It's okay, dude. It's someone driving their truck, okay? People are allowed to drive at night. Hey, remember that rose we saw? Let's go, the floor, the door is locked. It should be open, the owner's probably taking a break or something. I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, the, the, the infamous nighttime florist. Okay. What am I doing? I have a feeling this is the owner's bicycle. She must be in the store. Oh, why do you think it's a she? I'll just knock, I guess. You assume it's a she. Oh, Mildred's Marigold. Okay, I guess I understand. Hello? Is there anyone? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> hey, what's your problem? Leave my family the fuck alone! Take whatever you want! Just don't hurt us! Mildred's high strung. I'll just grab this rose then. The developer was like, I don't want to have to model another person. We'll just have the florist stay inside. Fresh meat at the slaughterhouse is last thing on our list. Let's go. Come on. I'll end up soaking wet before I get to the town's butcher. Oh, hey. What are you doing out here in the pouring rain at this time? I could <laughs> take you where you're headed. <laughs> Just get in the car and I'll take you wherever. <laughs> I could do with some company. <laughs> wow, will we accept the ride? We'll say no. No, it's okay, I'll just walk. No! Don't worry. It's not a big deal. Besides, you don't want to get your clothes wet now, do ya? Alright. What? I said no! My choices don't matter. Why am I entering the vehicle from the passenger side? I guess this isn't in America. You know, not every country's America. Did I say from the passenger side? I meant from the driver's side. We're going in on the passenger side. Obviously. But wait, now we're on the right side. Ruben, you're that goofy motherfucker from before. Oh, what's up, Ruben? Wait, how do you know my name? From your ID? Oops. Anyways, so where are you headed? <laughs> I'm heading to the butcher down by the community park. Splendid. Well then, let's get a move on. Okay. It's just around the corner, so it'll be a short drive. Okay. Hold tab for back dash cam view. Oh. Oh my. We're being followed, Ruben. Shouldn't you know about something like this? Hello? Close. They're trying to ram us, Reuben. OK. 
Okay. Look, they faded into the back. Well, here we are. Usually I charge for rides like this, but I'll spare you from the payment. Anyways, I guess I'll see you around. Have a good one. Wow. Okay, I will exit the vehicle now. Bye-bye, Reuben. Wow, he's off in a hurry, huh? How am I supposed to get home? He, this is the slaughterhouse. Oh, sorry, the butcher. What is this giant courtyard? It's like a dog park, but with no fences? Bastard butchery. Mmm. You know, maybe that truck that was behind us parked in the back. Let's see. Will it, let, will it allow us? No? Wow. Think you got enough trash receptacles? Look, two dumpsters, two trash cans? I'm okay. Enough stalling. Let's go inside. It's a bastard butchery. I hear that this place has great Yelp reviews. Hello and welcome to Bastard Butchery! <laughs> don't be shy. Have a look around. We have all kinds of meat. All kinds? I don't like that. Meet me by the counter if you need help making up your mind. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, I'll go ahead and meet you by the counter. So when you say all kinds of meat, do you mean human meat? Is that the all kinds? Lucas seems okay so far, though. Hmm, we'll see how long that lasts. I can smell how rotten this is through the glass. Rotten? Yeah, by all kinds. Do you have fresh meat? Have you made up your mind? Not really. I was hoping to ask you for your recommendation. Oh, well personally, my favorite meat- what the hell? The power never goes out in this area. And busy as fuck and don't have to replace fuses, goddammit. Hey! Don't ask me to do it. It'll give you the meat for free if you go back in my storage room and replace the fuses. I left some spare ones scattered around some shelves. Yeah, sure, I could do that. All right, cool, I'll wait here. Here's a flashlight, it gets dark in there. You'll need three fuses. Once that is done, you just need to flip the switch by the fuse box. <laughs> Thanks for the help. No problem, man. You know, to the outside observer, it would appear that I'm the one that works here. Gosh, okay, let's go in the storage room. Don't die. What the hell? Here we are. What, this is a giant storage room with tons of wasted space. Okay, I got one fuse. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. What is this? This brings back memories. Oh no, what memories are these? How could I ever forget? Dad. You monstrous fuck. You selfish drunk. Mom never did you any harm. Wait. Neither did I. Both you and I know, Mom killed herself because of you. Wow. You ruined everything, you alcoholic fuck. I never want to see or hear from you again. Wow, the shopping list is getting real deep. I don't want to associate with you one bit. Fuck me. I even lie about my name to move on from you. John? Who the fuck is that even? Uh-oh. Rather than having to carry the name you gave me. Claire. What? I didn't even tell my friends my real name. I hope you rot in hell, Dad. Wow. Okay. So seeing a bottle, uh, brought all that flooding back. So instead of, uh, my name being John, it's Claire. Okay. 
Okay, so we got that fuse. Uh, let's go in here. Oh, here's where they store the meat. Now, why would there be a fuse in here? There's not. That's the answer. There's not a fuse in here. Okay, here's the fuse box. I still gotta get one more, though. Um... Okay. Keep going. Ah, here's the last one. Okay, so we got all three. I have to say, this is a tremendous amount of storage space that's completely not being used. It's actually, actually incredible. That you would just have empty shelf upon empty shelf upon empty shelf. Wow, okay, here we go. Hope Lucas is still alive when I get back. Nice! Let's head back. Lucas! Are you still alive? Hope you're not murdered over your counter! Oh no, Lucas! Holy fuck! He's strung up. Wow, actually? Oh, he's, he's on meat hook. All right, Dead by Daylight, let's go. That's okay, it's just his first hook. He's still got two more. Only Dead by Daylight fans will understand my reference. I have to call the police. Don't tell me you don't have your cell phone. Oh, that's interesting. That's a cool way to do it. Okay. The phone lost connection? I need to hide. Someone tells me this isn't gonna work. He can see us! He can see us hide! Holiday. I mean, if they're anywhere around here, they saw us go in here. They had a very small shadow. They ran away, are they scared? I have to get to my car. I can't stay here out in the open. I had to sneak into one of these buildings and exit through the back without making too much noise. Okay, let's sneak. I heard breathing! I just have to make my way to the opposite side of the building. Hello? Nobody's manning a reception. What about all these empty cabinets? No. This doesn't even go anywhere! <laughs> Sorry. The stairs don't even go anywhere. Uh... Uh-oh, did you see that? Uh-oh. We're on floor eight, by the way. It said floor two. This flashlight is really doing uh, poorly for us. Not helping us out at all. Storage. Let's go into, yeah, let's go into the storage room. Maybe I can find something of use in the storage room. Must we? Okay. Oh my god, what? Yeah, a sheet of paper? Child's note! Dad told me to hide here in the storage room. I don't know why he is so panicked. I hope he'll be back soon. It's cold in here. That's not useful! Look at all the cat food here, by the way. It's the same cat food in Timmy's toys. Is Timmy the one after me? Dude, that wasn't very useful. You said maybe I could find something useful in the storage room. 
No? Okay. It's him. I can't go back now. Basement. Oh my gosh, we gotta go to the basement? This seems like the worst way to go through. Wasn't our ultimate plan to go through the back of the building? Uh oh. Any guns lying around? <laughs> Knives, maybe? Barely see. Uh oh. Red means scary, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I recognize these people. They moved into the city to work at this company. They were the only ones that had night shifts. Wait, how do you know so much? Now they are dead. With a toy knife left on the crime scene? It's Timmy! I need to get the fuck out of here. A toy knife, huh? Wow. Where's the toy knife? I don't see it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. It's Timmy. Timmy was the one left in the cold storage! Timmy was the one left in the storage, dude! He leaves a toy knife! by all of his victims. What's over here? Inspect map. Map stand. This is the same area where I entered this town from. Is it? I never noticed the gas station on the map. I must have missed it while walking into the town. My car should not be too far away from the gas station. I should check if anyone's working there in the convenience store. I need someone to call the cops, and I might be able to get some gas for the car. Yeah, unless the killer works at the convenience store. I just have to follow the path up and then walk into the woods. The gas station should be on the other side. Oh my gosh, okay. So... Okay, so this is the map stand right here. Here's the light. There's the light. So we need to go across. Okay. Hello? What? I can't go across. So we go this way. I guess we go up and then across, huh? There should be a path I can take into the woods at the end of this walkway. Thanks, Claire. Glad you know your way around already. Yep. Did you hear that? But the sound in this game is very good. If a bit overbearing, but it's it's stylistic. Uh-uh. Wow, you breathe really loudly. If I can hear you from here, you breathe so loud. <sighs> Why are you walking so slow? Come on! I would be sprinting right now. If I were you. Here we are. Yeah, at the abandoned gas station. Oh my gosh. They, they can't already be dead, can they? This killer really gets around. They got a motorcycle or something? Oh my gosh, you're alive. Jake Forster. Oh, that's another YouTuber, I think. I think that's another horror game YouTuber. Interesting. Hello. Oh, thank God. I need your help right fucking now. 
There's this guy following me, and I've seen dead bodies everywhere, and I'm freaking out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your horses there, Bucky. What's your name? Apparently it's Claire. Let's go, let's go with the fake name. John. Right then. What can I do for you? I need you to call the police right now. I'm being stalked by a killer as we speak. Ha! Nice try there, buddy. I know that y'all people are just trying to scare us outsiders because y'all don't like newcomers in this town. I don't know if that's what it sounds like. I'm just making up a... This is not a fucking joke. There's literal evidence all over the place. Really? Yes. Well, if you're so confident, then prove it. Take this here camera and photograph one single piece of evidence. Show me the photo when you get back. Okay. I, what? What? I'm just going to use your phone. How about that? I would just say, I'm going to use your phone. You want me to take a photo? Here, here's some evidence. Here's the killer right here, officer. I think I saw a missing poster by the right sidewalk. A missing poster? Why, what, how's that evidence? They already have that. You're gonna photograph the missing poster that they made? Aren't, or that, well, I mean, maybe they didn't make the missing poster. How is that evidence? They would be reported missing already. The police would know about it. Oh my gosh. Well, let's photograph this. All good, guys. We got the evidence. Something tells me old Jake is going to be murdered when we come back. We left just enough time for the killer to come in and stab him to death. We don't even know where the phone is. Hugo Davis, by the way. Did the lighting change? Here's your- I believe you, I believe you. I've called the police already. I saw him by the window. You need to leave right now. If you need anything, just grab it and get out! I need to refuel my car. Can I get a jerry can or something like that? Yeah, sure. You can fill it up by the pumps outside. You're gonna send me outside? Please be careful. So, okay, so let me get this straight. Here's how your mind works. You saw a guy outside the window and you called the police. Suddenly you believe me because another human being is outside at this time of night. You know, <sighs> Your qualifications for what? Constitutes as evidence is very shaky. Jerry can? Oh, I'm sorry, we have to go to this specific pump. Fill up Jerry can. Great. I have to follow the path behind the gas station to get to my car. Dude, I'd be like, no, I'm, I'm staying here. I'm staying here in the gas station. Behind the gas station. What do you mean behind the gas station? Is it this way? I really hope this is the right way, I don't know. It's not blocking me off. The, the game's very good about blocking you off. From where you're not supposed to go. Hey, there's a cop car here. Oh, no. It's Ruben. He's somehow back in his police car, back on the job. But then who did we see in the car that gave us a ride? Doesn't really make much sense, does it? This isn't my car, is it? You parked, like, on the curb. Wow, the killer's really being nice to us. Really waiting to the last possible second to murder us. Are they inside the car?
Why is my car slowing down? Did the tires get punctured? Tires slashed. My tires have been slashed. I'm really close to my apartment though, so I should be able to drive the last bit. Okay, let's get back in the car then. If your tires were slashed. I mean, if all of them were slashed. What? Okay. Wow, ah, uh, peace and tranquility. Objective, make cereal. There's no way that you would be able to get me off the phone to the police. No mirror. Claire, come on. This is the world's largest bathroom and you have exactly three things in it. You have three things in this bathroom. What is this area for? What is this area for right here? It's for nothing. For standing? You like to stand, hang out here? Where's all your toiletries? There's no toilet paper roll. There's, where's your toothbrush? This is the most horrifying thing about this game. No, poor, poor hygiene. But yeah, I would not make cereal. I would be like, ah, yes, 911. I have seen multiple dead bodies. Also, I'm moving out of this town. I don't know why I would say that to you. Chocolate breakfast. Wait, are you pouring the milk before the cereal? No, 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 no. You pour, you pour the cereal first, then the milk. No, 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 no. I, I refuse to do this. On principle. Sorry, the game ends here, folks. Why would you pour the milk before the cereal? Because then you have to temper the enthusiasm with which you pour the cereal, lest the milk splash. That's if you put too much of it. If you put too little of it, I guess it doesn't really matter. But the but, but pouring the cereal first tells you, gives you a better indication for your milk ratio when you're pouring the milk. Otherwise, you have no control over that. Otherwise, if you're like, oh, there's too much milk, then you feel obligated to pour in more cereal than you need. Or would have wanted at the time. This is, this is so backwards. I don't like this. Take a shower. Wait, did you, did you eat your cereal at the counter? Why would you do that? Wait, is this just open? Oh my God, you have like an open air apartment? Claire, decorate your apartment, please! I guess that's why you were out. You were getting a toy for it, right? <laughs> where are you gonna where are you planning on putting the toy? <laughs> Did you lock your door? Okay, I'm just gonna go take a shower with my clothes on again. For the second time. Didn't we just we just took a shower? Door's gonna open. I like the steam effect. I saw there was a little uh, subtle steam effect. Turn on the news. Did you lock the door? You'd be amazed at how many people out there don't lock their doors. Sometimes I go over to a friend's house or something and they just I'll be like, the door has been unlocked the entire time I've been here. Police officer Ruben has been confirmed dead. He was earlier this evening found by the gas station near Community Park with three stab wounds in the chest and two by the neck. The police have searched the area but have not found any more evidence to who could be the murderer. Oh, and then you turn it off? Go to bed! That's enough news. Approximately seven seconds of news is enough for today. This, it's just open air. How high up are we? <gasps> We're a ground floor apartment! We're a ground floor apartment with open air balcony, what? Look, the, it's right there. Anybody can just come up. Ah! Uh, why even bother knocking? Just climb up the balcony and you're in.
Oh. Yeah, forget it. I'm not opening the door. No. Not opening the door. Sorry. You're just like your mother. What? Goodbye, Claire. Dad was never the same after the war. The PTSD got to him. I didn't even recognize him myself after the war. He didn't even realize what he was doing to the family. Then he started drinking. He started doing drugs which made him lose hair. After mom's death and after nonstop abuse, I took dad's car and drove off. After a few years of therapy, I could handle the trauma, and I even forgot about those memories. Dad hated me. He used to explain in great detail how much he hated my guts after Mom's death. Wow, Dad sounds so evil. After his drug abuse, he looked 40 years older. I barely even recognized him in that toy store. Oh, so it was Timmy. He moved into the city before me and took out his stress on the locals. But he never got caught. So what, did he kill me? There is no greater love oh no. He made sure to put his bloody handprint on it. On the floor. Okay, so that was the shopping list. Um, a bit disappointed in the, uh, bad dad trope. Um, but we'll start with the positives. Since this was mostly made by just one person. Nice job, making a game all by herself. Mostly, you know? Good sound design, overall. Um, nice, like, game flow. Moving from one direction to the next, so it had good pacing of like, it starts off and like a, you're in a well lit area, very innocuous uh, experiences shopping at those places, and then it's like as time goes on, as the night goes on, it gets a bit more and more creepy. You know, just some good some good points overall. Uh, so things I didn't like about it was a bit disappointed in the the bad dad trope. Like I said, so many horror games are just like. Either you're a bad dad, or you had a bad dad, and then the bad dad is the villain. Sometimes it's you, sometimes you're the bad dad villain. And it's just really tired, a tired trope at this point. I also don't really like, and I've said this before about many games, I don't really like the, um, the use of mental illness in, in villains, homicidal villains in horror games. Like in this case, it's PTSD turns uh, the bad dad into a homicidal maniac, you know? It's like, I feel like there's enough demonization of a mental illness today. We don't really need to have it in every horror game. <laughs> I think sometimes it can be tastefully done. I wouldn't say this is one of those cases. I'm also, you know, this is a small thing. I'm not really clear on the time period for this. There were, there were iPhones in the tech store but then, like, they had flashbacks to the 70s. They talked about the war, and I didn't know if they were talking about, like, the Iraq War, Vietnam, possibly, the Gulf War. I mean, it, it was hard to place where exactly in time this was. Like, nobody had a cell phone, including the protagonist, but they had iPhones at the tech store. That's really throwing me off. I just feel like, I feel like the main character lived for, like, a long time. It, it kind of... I was like very vulnerable out and about. I wasn't being sneaky at all. And I think I would have appreciated the realism a bit more if there was a little bit more hiding, a little bit more sneaking, and a little bit less like, I have to go outside and fuel up my car. Like what? No, I'm sticking in the gas station until the police get here. You know? And people were very lackadaisical about that as well. About just like, yeah, just go outside and gas up your car. Or like, yeah, can you? Can you go install the fuses in the fuse box for me? Like, bitch, do I work here? I don't think so. You go do it. So yeah, some positives, 
some negatives. Overall, kind of a mixed bag for me. It is a free indie horror game, so I try to be pretty, um, you know, more understanding with the free ones because they're not selling it for money. So you know, this it's it's more like an experiment, more like a, just a, like an expression than it is a product when it's free. So. Um, but yeah, there are definitely some things that could be improved. Also, I mean, I commented cheekily on it, but quite a lot of apostrophe trouble in the grammar in the game. There was a lot of moments where "ile" was spelled like "ill" or "im" was spelled like "im." You know, just little things like that it could could use some polish. Um, a lot of the stores and a lot of the residences didn't look lived in. A lot of empty shelves. You know. Just typical stuff, but I, again, I understand it's a free indie horror game made by mostly one person, so... I don't know, if, if, if nothing else though, you can populate the empty shelves with books. It's the, the go-to for horror games. Just fill them up with books. They can even be the same books. Same color books in the same uh, order. It's not like you're gonna be reading the titles with the pixelated effect and everything. Um, Alright, well yeah, that's, uh, that's what I think about the shopping list. It's okay. Uh, I like some things about it, don't like others, you know, you got the deal if you listen to me just now. But, let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll talk to you, uh, in the next video. Think critically. <laughs>